Okay, if we were to change the equation just slightly, so it's x squared plus 6x minus 9 equals 0. Then the two equations I'm going to graph are x squared plus 6x minus 9 is 1, and y2 equals 0 is the other. Now I've put those two equations in here. Okay. Now when I hit the graph button, uh, I get almost the same looking graph as before. The only difference is it doesn't any longer, these two numbers are no longer nice round whole numbers. So here's how you solve it from there. What you're going to do is press second and calc. Second calc and you're going to choose from here the fifth option which says intersect. Okay. Now I'm going to move a li my little cursor. I'm going to hit this left arrow here and move my little cursor around. You can just see it coming in here. Looks like a little bomb. Move it around until the two uh, things are almost on top of each other. Then what I'm going to do is hit the equal sign three times. Equal, equal, equal. And it will pop out one of the answers here. X equals negative 7.242641. Now I repeat that to find the other answer. I hit second, calc, 5, and use the right arrow button. So I'm now pressing the right arrow button over and over and over again. Or I hold it down, and eventually you'll see this little blob comes around. I think I took it a bit too far. There's the little blob right up there. It will come around, and when it's almost on the x-axis, then I hit enter three times, and out pops the other answer for me. X equals positive 1.2426407. Okay, so that represents that answer, and this represents this answer. Okay, now what we're going to do is look at this equation. Uh, I've changed it to x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 0. I put the two equations in, and I'm going to hit the graph button. And you'll see that what happens is the graph only touches in one spot. It just touches one spot there at negative 3. So this only has one answer of x equals negative 3. Okay. Um, by the way, remember when you are doing these sorts of questions for your marker, you should be placing down here what your x and y coordinates are for your window. So I press window and these are negative 10 and 10 for x and they are negative uh, 18 and positive 10 for the y. So for full marks, the marker is going to want to see what your window dimensions are there. And please make sure to put down any equations that you're using there. Okay, here what I've done is I've got changed a plus 9 to a plus 10. I put those two equations in the calculator and when I press the graph button what happens is the graph comes along like this and it doesn't cross the x-axis at all. Now it's hard to see on this that it doesn't do that so I'm going to change my window dimensions here uh, on the, um, the y value to uh, negative 1 there and maybe 5. And there's the same equation graph there, but you can definitely see there's separation. The graph does not cross the x-axis. 
Therefore, this answer would be X is no answer. If you put these numbers into the quadratic formula, you would find that you would get the square root of a negative number. Okay. Now let's look at all four of these together. Here when I graphed them, I had two uh, nice whole numbers. This thing originally could have been factored. It would have been the easiest way to get that answer. Here when I graphed them, I got two answers, but they were irrational numbers. I would have had to use a quadratic formula to get those. Or I can use my second Calc 5 option to find the intersection of these two equations. Or by changing it from a minus 9 to a plus 9, immediately what happens is you only get one answer. So the parabola doesn't hit in two spots, it either it hits in one spot, and there's only one answer there. That's the equivalent of getting the square root of 0 uh, in your quadratic formula. Please remember your window dimensions. And the thing might go through so that it does not intersect. Um, there's no intersection. Therefore, there is no answer to our question. Probably from where you're looking, that, that looks like it does intersect. But in fact, there is a space in between there. I should have maybe draw, drawn it a bit higher. When we changed the window di uh, dimensions, remember it became a much steeper graph. And we could definitely see that this thing does not intersect at all. Okay, so to intersect in two spots, one spot, or no spots.